Hey guys, it's Aaron, and I wanted to take a look at something that I guess could be called an exploitation of the way that colors work in Mac. I don't know. I'll let you guys come up with a term for what it is, but uh, I want to hop in to look at a way that you can generate custom color lists on the Mac color UI. We won't leave Windows out. We'll, we'll go look at what you can do in Windows also, but this is something specifically that was brought up in the forum about using PDFs to pick colors in Mac. So let's take a look. Okay, so several of you guys have asked, uh, mostly Windows users, ask, where do I get those color pencils I pick from all the time? This is the default color picker for Mac. So this isn't a, a plugin or extension or anything like that. This is actually default uh, way that SketchUp works on Mac. So what we did was we actually leveraged the default color picker UI on Mac and Windows, and there's some differences. So this is Mac. In Mac, you do have this colored pencil, or I think in the older versions it might have been crayons. Um, I, have, I can click here to get to this color wheel. I can click to sliders, or I can click on this thing that looks like a little image, and it brings up this thing that says spectrum. There's a little drop list here, but the only option here is spectrum. So this is kind of cool. What this actually is, is an image. So right now, as it refers to Spectrum, it's actually pulling up an image file and showing it to me and allowing me to pick a color off of the gradients on that image. So the way I can take advantage of this is if I have an image with a bunch of colors, for example, uh, maybe color chips for a paint fat company, somebody who makes uh, uh, paints or um, maybe some different siding colors or, or tin roofing, anything that has a published document, a PDF or, or image file that shows specific colors, you can, you can use this. If I come up here and click the little, little gear, I can say new from file, and I'm gonna go over here, and I have this SW Paint Chips PDF I downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and click open, and watch it happens. Boom, it blow, pulls that PDF up, and all, all it did was open the PDF and show it here. So I got all the text and all this stuff that doesn't really do much for me, but what I can do now is I can come in here, hover over, and pick any of these colors that are in the PDF, and they're the exact colors that are provided by the manufacturer. So this is cool because what you could do is if there's a whole bunch of different paint colors, like I said, or maybe carpet colors or whatever it is, you could actually load each of these and you can save them and switch between them as you work through your model. So I could, I could actually composite this. If I had five or six pages like this, I could actually use a photo editing software to just get the chip colors in here and not have all this other text that I don't, that I don't need that doesn't do anything for me. Or maybe you have a list of colors plus their names or something like that you wanna pull in. Regardless, that's what this does. That's how this tab right here, this tab, the image palettes tab in the Mac UI works. It lets you pull that PDF file in or image file in and display it. And it'll actually save it with, uh, with inside of there so you can and go to it again later. So pretty cool option on Mac, but Windows isn't totally hung out to dry. Okay, so here I am in Windows. Windows, the color UI is a little bit different uh, how it functions and how it looks and then in Mac. In Mac, of course, we had all those, we we're looking at those different tabs of ways to pick colors. Um, you can also just kind of on the fly modify colors, a little bit different in Windows. In Windows, what I have to do is I'm gonna pick any color. When you pick a color, you'll see it shows up here under your current material, but it shows up with a grayed out name. So what that's showing is that you're currently using a material that is saved in one of these lists and you can't modify it. So one of the things I got to do real quick right now is I have to make a copy of a color that I can modify. So I'm just going to hit the create material. Uh, I'm just going to use the default. If I, if I want to, here's where I can use some different tools, the color wheel, the uh, sliders to go in and change that color. I'm not really too concerned about that because we're going to override that. But all I want is a brand new material that I can edit. So I'm just going to hit edit hit OK, and now I have this material. Now I can go to the Edit tab and I can manipulate it. Same window we just saw, but with one big difference being this button right here. This button right here is Match Color on Screen. This is how we're going to leverage the colors in that PDF. 
if I go ahead, I'm just going to get out of this full screen. All right, that looks good. I'm going to make this as big as I can, but I still want to see my PDF. You see, I just have my PDF open in an in a uh, Explorer window over here. What I can do now is I can actually click this match on screen color and come over and pick one of these colors. See that? So now I just pick that color directly off the PDF using the color picker. I know I can't load it in as a window. I can't save it as a material list, but I can real easily pull it right off of there. So one thing to watch when you do this though, is when you click that, you'll get the little eyedropper cursor. And when you leave the SketchUp window, Windows is gonna get excited and, and, and it happens. Windows gets all excited and goes, oh, I get to change cursors. And it will change your cursor to what you would use if you were actually in this window. But SketchUp is still in charge of things. So despite the fact that I have my little, little cursor or my arrow, whatever color I pick on is still gonna get picked. It's, the cursor is just not change, or is changing over, but I can still come over here and pick this greenish color and there it shows up there. So a couple different ways to choose custom colors off of PDF. I know there's two different ways on two different operating systems and I'm sorry, that's like I said, that's just, that's just one of the things that was decided upon at some point. So in Mac, you can load those PDFs in and pull colors right out of them. In Windows, you gotta take one extra step and open it in some sort of viewer, but then you can pick off of it just like you would inside of Mac. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Both of these ideas, the Mac version and the Windows version, were actually pulled from comments on our forums from users just like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.